Hopes that Europe is containing the deadly coronavirus pandemic has been dashed after the number of coronavirus cases in Italy spiked to 86,498. More than 9,000 people have died from coronavirus in Italy, more than anywhere else in the world. Italy recorded 969 deaths on Friday, the biggest single-day jump since the crisis began. And Spain's death toll from coronavirus pandemic jumped to 5,690 on Thursday, with 832 fatalities in the past 24 hours. Spain is one of the countries worst affected by coronavirus pandemic. The number of infections stood at 72,248, up from 64,059. Germany has reported 6,294 new cases of confirmed coronavirus cases. Germany now has 53,340 confirmed coronavirus cases and over 390 deaths. And several states across the U.S. are reporting a spike in coronavirus cases, raising fears more hotspots will emerge after New York. The U.S. surpassed Italy and China this week to become the country with the most reported coronavirus cases in the world, with more than 104,000 known cases and over 1,700 fatalities, according to John Hopkins University. Meanwhile, the number of coronavirus fatalities in Iran surged to 2,517 as health officials announced 139 new deaths over the past 24 hours. And back home in Africa, there are now more than 3,400 confirmed cases of coronavirus with 94 fatalities across the continent. On the second day of a nationwide lockdown, South African police fired rubber bullets at hundreds of shoppers queuing outside a supermarket in Johannesburg. Cases of coronavirus infection in South Africa passed 1,100 on Saturday. Somalia has registered three cases, the lowest infection rate in the region, while Tanzania has 13, Eritrea 16, Kenya 38, Uganda 23, and Rwanda 54, with Ethiopia recording 16 cases. Elsewhere, Ghana will be on the lockdown starting on Monday. The sweeping measures were announced as the country reported 137 confirmed cases, including four deaths. And the city in China where the coronavirus pandemic began, Wuhan, has partially reopened after more than two months of isolation. Over 28,000 people have died from COVID-19, while nearly 614 infections have been confirmed in at least 199 countries and territories. More than 137 people have recovered from coronavirus. For Channel 1 News, I am Emily K. Badi.